Alright you guys, today we are doing the ultimate power adapter charging test comparison using the brand new M5 iPad Pro between the classic Apple 20 watt adapter which is included in the box and the brand new 40 to 60 watt dynamic power adapter launched alongside the iPhone 17s and which now supports the brand new fast charging on the M5 iPad Pro. So we're going to compare these two power adapters side by side and we're going to see just how much faster the new 40 to 60 watt dynamic is compared to the old fashioned 20 watt type C power adapter. I will have both these linked in the description. They will be affiliate links so if you purchase them I will earn a small commission as well as my Amazon storefront is linked down there that has some cool accessories you guys would enjoy if you're into Apple gear like me. Also before we begin the test I just want to point out that the Type-C cable we're using is just a standard white Type-C to Type-C Apple braided cable. So this is the exact cable that came with your iPhone or your iPad. It supports up to 60 watts, which is the max that the 40, 60 watt can deliver, obviously. So yeah, this is the cable we're going to be using for both power adapters. All right, and here we begin with the charging test. Now everything will be labeled, so it's easy for you guys to tell. Right now, as you can see, we're looking at the 40 to 60 watt adapter and I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. We are then going to compare the battery percentage from the 40 to 60 adapter to the slower 20 adapter. And we're gonna see just how much longer that older 20 watt Apple charger takes compared to the new 40 to 60 watt dynamic. But anyway, I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. So we are now 10 minutes in and as you can see, the 40 to 60 watt adapter was able to get our M5 iPad Pro from 0% to 17% in just the first 10 minutes. Now let's move over to the 20 watt adapter and see where that's at. All right, and over here on the 20 watt adapter, it was able to get our M5 iPad Pro from 0% to 8% in the first 10 minutes. That is a 10% decrease compared to the 40 to 60 watt. I'll see you guys at the 20 minute mark in another 10 minutes. I also just need to mention for you guys, we will not be charging up to 100. I prefer to only charge all of my devices if possible to 80%. So we'll be charging from zero to 80% in this test, not zero to 100. Back to the test. All right, we've officially reached the 20 minute mark and our M5 iPad Pro with the 40 to 60 watt adapter was able to go from 18% to 34%. Now let's move over to the 20 watt adapter and let's see where that's at. And at the 20 minute mark with the 20 watt adapter, we are at 18%. I'll see you guys in another 10 minutes when we're at the 30 minute mark. Real quick, I just wanted to plug my Amazon storefront. I have so many cool accessories, phone cases, screen protectors, iPad cases, iPad protectors, everything you would need if you're into Apple gear, even MagSafe accessories, battery banks, charging cables, and everything you could possibly need for your Apple devices. So go check it out, link in the description. All right, and at the 30 minute mark with the 40 to 60 watt dynamic power adapter, our iPad is at 53%. Now let's jump over to the 20 watt and see where that's at. Over here on the 20 watt adapter at the 30 minute mark, we are at 27%. I'll see you guys in another 10 minutes at the 40 minute mark. And at the 40 minute mark now with the 40 to 60 watt adapter, we are at 65%, getting very, very close to that 80% limit. Now let's jump over to the 20 watt and see where that's at. Okay, and over here on the 20 watt adapter, we are at a very, very low 36% at the 40 minute mark. I'll see you guys in another 10 minutes at the 50 minute mark. And 
at the 50 minute mark with the 40 to 60 watt, we are at 75%, only 5% more to go. So we should be done charging within the next 10 minutes. And at the 50 minute mark over here with the 20 watt, we are at 45%, still a long way to go to that 80% mark. I'll see you guys when the 40 to 60 watt finishes charging. All right, so at 56 minutes and 27 seconds, the 40 to 60 watt dynamic power adapter has officially charged this M5 iPad Pro 11 inch from 0% to 80% once again in just 56 minutes, 27 seconds. Now, all we have to do is wait for the 20 watt adapter to finish up and we can get on out of here, folks. So at the one hour mark with the 20 watt, we are actually exactly where the 40 to 60 watt was in the first 30 minutes at 53%. I'll see you guys in another 15 minutes at the one hour, 15 minute mark. So here at the hour and 15 minute mark with the 20 watt adapter, our iPad is at 66%. We only got 14% more to go till that 80% target. I'll see you guys in another 15 minutes at the hour and a half mark. In the final stretch here at the hour and a half mark with the 20 watt we are at 78 percent we only have two percent more to go till our 80 percent target i'll see you guys when we're at 80 percent all right and finally at the one hour 32 minute mark the 20 watt adapter finally manages to get the m5 ipad pro to 80 percent Let's wrap up the video and let's review what we found during this test. That is going to wrap it up for this iPad Pro M5 charging speed test. Here we have our classic 20 watt power adapter that is included in the box with the brand new M5 iPad Pro. This charger was able to finish with a pretty respectable time of 1 hour, 32 minutes and 30 seconds. Once again, that's 1 hour. 32 minutes and 30 seconds. I'm taking off three seconds from the timer because I was a little slow to stop it. But yeah, you got the 20 watt adapter right here. Basically an hour and a half. Now with the 40 watt dynamic, the brand new power adapter from Apple, we finished with a incredible time of 56 minutes and 30 seconds. Very impressive if you ask me. Before we head out of here, I just want you guys to know I do have an Amazon storefront that is linked down below, as well as the products used to make this video. Anything you purchase from either my storefront or the products used in this video section, I will earn a small commission that will support the channel and continue to fuel my ability to be able to create content like this for you guys. I will also have affiliate links for these two power adapters in the description as well. If you'd like to purchase them, on Amazon and support the channel that way. We got the 20 watt right here in the description 
as well as the brand new 4060 watt in the description. Well, that's going to wrap it up, guys. Let me know what you guys thought of this charging test in the comments. Were you guys surprised of the time that the 20 watt got, or were you surprised how much quicker the 40 to 60 watt was? Let me know down in the comments, and let's have a discussion about this. And on that note, let me know what you guys would want to see next, and I'll see you guys later.